Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something that is, um, late to the party. Late to the party. Alright, so today we are going to be doing something, as you saw before, <laughs> what is not needed. I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour, which is really long awaited. I don't know why I haven't done this before, but I guess I just wanted to push it back. I knew I was going to do it eventually, but I just decided I didn't want to do it, and I just did other things instead. I don't know what happened, but I was just like, not, no. So, yeah, let's go. So, the first sketchbook I'm going to show you is my oldest. It is really, really old. I brought this to school every day in the morning, and in the homeroom I would sketch something, and all my friends would just be patiently watching me and seeing what I would draw. <laughs> And it's like one of these notebooks that has like free drawing tips inside if you wanted to know that. You didn't probably want to know that, but just like looking over, it is really old. It's like ripped up and crumpled and I was like really devastated when there was a crumple or, or, or you know, that. Uh, although it really did have that when I first got it because this has been sitting in my well, sorry, I'm moving art out of the way. Um, when I was little, this would sit in my art drawer. I don't know where I got it, but it just would. And yeah, so let's take a look inside. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, so this was stuff that I did like two years, two or three years ago. And what that means is like I really wanted, this was, a, in the beginning this was a sketchbook that I wanted to draw in and I wanted to make art so badly, but I just did not know what to draw and then I ended up doing that, whatever this is. Obviously it's supposed to be like a children, like a child and like, a dress with an apron on and then like a lady who's going like to a really fancy party. This looks like the olden times. Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> so this next, I actually did this little rainbow. Um, let the rainbow guide you. I don't know why I wrote that at the side. Um, this was just like one of those things where I was bored and I didn't know what to draw and I was just struggling. But so this page is really just, so me and my friend would do this, we would like make up that we were like a fashionist or like an artist and we would write about ourselves and I was like writing about myself and it was fake obviously and I started writing this and then I just hated it. Not like how it came out, just I just hated doing that because it just was weird. Now, we did a, we actually made a magazine, which was really cool, but that is normal, this is not. So, this next one is, it's gonna be like constant, like really weird drawings, I don't know. But this was like the Gills Club, I don't know, like the girls, the gills, like with the tail, mermaid tails, sea flower. I don't know what I was doing. I don't want to know. Just scribbles. Now here is when I wanted to actually make something good. And I started to draw an ocean. And you know that's when I was using grill markers and you know you can't blend and so forth. So here's like a turning point for me. Like this started getting like really, this started helping me. This was like getting good for me that it, everything was like looking better. I started to do eyes here like, and then I started to test colors, so. Yeah. Here is where I was doing like 
still life i don't even know i was it was not it doesn't even look like still life to be honest like i don't know what this is yeah i honestly feel that this is very strange and i don't know what this is <laughs> well i mean it actually the window went pretty well i started doing like this glass pane thing i don't know um but then i did like i wanted to do like an office in here so i did the chromebook or the computer i that was okay it actually looked like it looks like a bell pepper and then I did the drawer, and then that was fine, I guess. And then I did the chair, and then that went terrible. Like, it's, and also I had to add shading, which, that's not shading. And then I added a drawer coming out, which doesn't look like a drawer, but let's see if that will. Nope, I can't fix it. That's the life. So here, really, this is starting to be kind of like a slow, like, what's the word? Um, I don't know. I can't think of it. It's going to kill me. But like a transformation to getting better. This is where I started, like, doing, taking the eyes. Because I, I did an eye, um, and it came out really good. So I wanted to try it with color. And then I did lips, and then I did a nose, and... Thing, putting them all around looked really weird so I just hated it and then like this the nose I tried to do shading and it looked like a fox to me like a does that look like it like those are the eyes and that's like the no, I don't know but you'll see on the next page so it gave me inspiration to make a fox oh my god it's kind of embarrassing but yeah that's what inspired me to do a fox and I this was like one of my first really cool like drawings and like colored things like i was really proud of this and i loved it and here's a mess up and you know i always hate these pages but you know i was different at the time so i didn't actually like try to do this somewhere else i just went right ahead right ahead so here is a dog that you might have seen in another photo, um, comparing my art, um, I mean, video, I think I said, I don't know, but I was doing, I, I did a video called comparing my old art to new art, and this is a dog that I did, um, yeah, this was kind of weird, and then I actually did another dog in the future, and this really, I was trying to draw my dog, and then, it just didn't go well, and then I decided to add spots. My dad, my dog doesn't have spots, but I decided to, and then it just made it look worse. So moving on, we have this little park scene, which I actually really think is cute and not great though. I really like how I, I really how I, I really like how I um like added, kind of like. I don't know, it's more, like, there's, it gets brighter and lighter and set more you go in the lantern, which I think is cool. I got this from inspiration from this girl who went to my school last year, because I did this, like, early last year, and she drew, like, this beautiful park scene, and she was, like, really good at art. She doesn't go to my school anymore. She was only there for a year, and in our school district district but she did this really beautiful um park scene and it was like hanging on our art room wall and it was really pretty and so i decided to do that <laughs> so here's when i started like taking my friend's style and like seeing what i could do with it i she would do this really beautiful thing where she would like do a line around the page and like um label it and that was really interesting to me and I really like that but um I was doing plants here so I did like a plant like yeah <laughs> I guess that's the label did a cactus um what inspired me to do that was I, nothing okay never mind um I don't know what I'm saying um 
I tried that flower. That was weird. This flower you don't need to talk about because this is like early sketchbooks. You know, dude? You know? Oh boy, here we go. So, this, um, like, <laughs> I, this is not my first face. I've done three faces before this, I think, in my entire life at the time. I don't know. But when it was starting to get really good, and I did this, <laughs> it looks so weird. It's like the, like, her, um, it's like her eye is attached to, like, this part of the bridge on her nose. It's, oh my god, it's so weird, and the, like, eyelid is, oh my god, it's so weird, it's so creepy, I mean, it is good for some people, like, I don't know, not really, but, um, so, I, were, I was going to do a man here, because, you know, there is a woman there because I was practicing them. And I never got to the man, but I was doing the woman first. And I just, like, scribbled out the eyes where they would be. I don't know. I was just planning it out. And then, like, um, yeah. <laughs> Me and my friends joke around that, like, I did that. because So that one wouldn't look as bad. But that's another reason, <laughs> really. I don't know. But no, that, that, that's kind of the reason on accident now. I don't know. I just don't like that one. Now, this one is one of my favorites in this book. It came out so pretty. Whoa. Oh, I don't even know if you can... Well, anyways. I did a girl with a French braid. Originally, I just did, like, a French braid. With, like, a girl's, like, shoulders and neck. And then I decided to add, like, a body. And then an umbrella. And then I decided to make it raining. And then it actually did rain. Watercolor. <laughs> I had um, a, you can see like the little thing. I had a watercolor thing that I did. I don't know why I did it on this paper though. This is terrible. But I put it, it was right next to here. So when I closed it, oh, that was terrible. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And I forgot. And yeah. So... Then over here, I wanted, I did a braid, because obviously I, I wanted to try it with color, and it came out really cool. I did, like, like, I don't know what I was doing. It's, like, a really weird dolphin and, like, tissues, which I need <laughs> right now. And then I did, like, someone talking on a phone, sitting in a chair with feet that look like I don't know what, but, Yeah. So then, here, I did another girl with a French braid that didn't come out that good. It's, like, really weird French braid. Like, the hair is very part. I did this again because I wanted to redo the girl with that French braid before because I was really sad that it got watercolor all over it. But I now I kind of think it gave it a cool effect. I don't know. I think they both look good, I but I don't think this one looks better. Then I started doing an eye, I mean a face, but there's no other eye and no eyebrow, no nothing. It's It was a process getting into my style. Then I had, I have this girl who's like walking by the beach. This was a request by my mother and I wanted to draw it for her too and it, I just can't do it. It doesn't ever look the way I want it to, but I'm hoping I can do something better for her soon. Here is um, a girl that is like reaching for the stars and I put, I don't know, I was like, th this I didn't create exactly, I, um, this was like trying out other people's styles, like someone on, um, when I used to watch TikTok, it was someone that I, um, watched, and she was really good at art, and this was something that she drew, and I wanted to try drawing it, too. 
and so is this. It's really weird. Um, but I really liked... The reason why I drew this was because I was, like, kind of doing this was helping me learn how to use hand movements and, like, hand gestures or something like that. I don't know, like, how they, um, people hold their, um, like, how to draw someone holding their phone or, like, grabbing some hair. I don't know. But it kind of helped me see how to do it in a way, and I kind of got, like, a hang of it. Then here's another one of those beach things that I tried to do. <laughs> it did not really go well. Again, I didn't really like how it came out. The eyes are just black. <laughs> um, here is a girl who's just sitting on a bench with somebody. And it was in the beginning, I just did this girl who's like sitting on a bench, like alone. I have to sneeze, <laughs> I'm just like silent. If I sneeze, yeah, okay, I don't know. But she was like sitting on a bench alone and like the wind was blowing and I just decided that it was too sad. <laughs> so I added someone just like hugging her or like helping her, I don't know. Here's um, another one of those that I, like, not necessarily, not necessarily copied off of, but just, like, you know, tried out. I, um, it was from that girl that I was talking about before who was, did art on YouTube, I mean TikTok, and she did just a face, so I decided to add a body, which I really like, and I think that came out pretty well. I mean, I've been doing this a lot, so I decided to do that, and it really did come out g good, I guess. I don't think the proportions are correct, though. I mean, not the proportions, just like, like, this shows that she's facing this way, but like, this shows that she's kind of like facing diagonally, which is really weird, but yeah. So, then we have this that I was like trying to do like a sun up here in the moon. I saw it off of like a really weird painting. I mean a really cool painting and I wanted to do that but you know I did it. It looked really weird and you know I also was doing it on sketch paper so what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking at all. That's what happened. It's taking a long time to film because I have to do a lot of it over because I, I was talking for too long and explaining the drawings. Um, so that took up too much time. It's not uploading. So yeah, we're just gonna. So where we left off was this pumpkin. It was just, I don't really know what this was. It was around Halloween and then I added blood and then yeah, that got into really weird stuff. Then I did a little flower girl. I did like literal, like she has flowers petals coming out from her hair. I mean her head. Oh boy. Jeez. I can't even hold it's not even staying up. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh boy, nope. I'm wasting paper. There's nothing even on this page. Except, like, scribble on them. Oh, this is a drawing I did of my friend. It actually came out looking a lot like her. And at the same time, it doesn't. I don't know. I really like this, though. But yeah, this is when I was, like, drawing a woman, like, taking a picture of herself, like, facing a mirror, you know? I don't, I don't like this. <sighs> oh, boy. This is, like me trying like I, I was doing another face and 
I thought it would look cool if, like, half of her face was, like, a robot, or she was, like, I don't know. I was, um, that's kind of cool. I feel like I've seen someone draw this before. <laughs> I'm weird. Ooh, I remember drawing this, and I loved this. The only thing was, like, the style was really creepy with the eyes, if you know what I mean. It's really cool, though. I really like this. Yeah. Oh, boy. Another face. Doesn't even have an eyebrow on both of them. Just one eyebrow. Oh, this... I've seen so many people do this. Like, I've seen so many people do this before, so I wanted to try it. And then it doesn't even look... Like, how it was supposed to look. I'm pretty sure they were snapping their fingers to, like, this or something. <laughs> like, snap, like. But, like, then they were, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is a girl that I drew. But, like, she's so, it looks like a grandma because of the mouth. And, like, it's just so weird. And then in the background, in, like, the other page... There's a drawing, so if you go like that and then press it down, you can see there's lines. It makes it look like wrinkles, so. Oh, ooh, this is so pretty. I remember I, the, I, was, I came up with this on my own. I was just, like, drawing. Um, I forget what I was drawing. I was like... I don't know, but I started, like, just, like, I was really bored, so I just was drawing like that, and then I just, like, did lines, and then I got really tired, and I was like, pew, pew, and then I was like, oh, that looks like a nail, and so I started doing them. At the time, I thought they did not look like nails, but this looks so good right now. Oh, that's is like, when I was being, like, really weird, like, aunt, like, princesses just like very cartoony princesses i don't know that's what i was trying to like draw a man or a boy because i can't do that i can't it just doesn't come out good and it comes out <laughs> so weird like his head is turned but his body is not oh this is something strange well actually it's kind of a cool like concept like a girl sleeping on a moon but the Rainbow is turned, and plus, she looks like she's squished, like her head is, like, squished against the moon, but then her her legs are floating in midair. It's really weird. <gasps> Ooh, some hands holding a flower with a flower. Oh, my God. I'm literally embarrassed to show you this. So, I got a charcoal pencil, and I took a picture of a photo that I saw, what you can use with charcoal, and I drew that. came out so good, and then I was like, I should try some more charcoal stuff. Like, I should try it more often. So, I said, I can, like, outline or something, and I did on here, and it ruined it. So, you'll see that in um, my other notebook. Oof. That was me trying to draw my um, other friend. The eyes look so creepy. I just, I mess up the eyes sometimes. I don't like this that much. That was me trying to draw a pond. It's so light, I can't, you can't even see it. Oh, another face. Oh, this was a challenge where I was trying to do, you know, don't pick up your pencil challenge, if you know what that is. Like draw something but don't pick up a pencil oh here's some lips that was i don't know why i don't know as there is me trying to draw a head shape and then i just stopped because it didn't look great Ooh, this is something my friend sent me because she did one and then i did it too it, it came out really nice i really like it i think it's a really cool at least it's not red blood. <laughs> of course I have to go to the dark side. Alright, let's see what's... Another wasted paper, nothing on this page. Ooh, 
Oh, I remember. I like liked how the other one came out, so I decided to do it with lips. And it came out fine. And plus, they were watercolor pencils, so I decided to add wa water to them. And those, this is like skin thin paper. I don't even know if that's the right thing to say, but <laughs> yeah, it came out fine. Oh, here is a chocolate covered strawberry I did. I was actually not taking much of my time. This I actually did yesterday because I was like filming this and then I took a break and then I just drew something. I actually drew a different, I actually drew a chocolate ch covered strawberry much realistic, more realistic than this because I was bored and I also was using gel pens and you can't blend with gel pens and I didn't have enough colors and stuff and since I couldn't blend that looks weird there and then I did color swatches and then I was like I don't know. that was me also at the same time getting bored and drawing a kiwi but then the ink was running out and I also don't really know what a kiwi looks like I don't know. <laughs> I do, but... Oh, that was... Yeah, a turtle. Never finished because the angle's running low. And... Just, you know... Random stuff. Alrighty, um, that is my total sketchbook. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, I hope you guys liked seeing living proof of my old art that I've done over the years um it was really fun doing this um thank you guys for watching um this is actually going to be part one because i have another notebook and that will be part two so please watch that and i'll see you guys next time i'll miss you love you bye